Speaking of Zen, you got another Mari up on here, and Saigai is back up. Yeah, back up with Valadin on his Mario here. Um, wondering why he's not going for the Swordy pick, but uh, we'll we'll see in due time. <laughs> but it already hits him up with 41%, and at PK Thunder Force to get up. Mario's one of his biggest weaknesses is that he's unable to get it. That's like the Smash 4 weakness. He was able, unable to get in, but he's able to get these conversions when he does. That's why he's so scary in this game. And, um, and what's scary about uh, about Mario himself is his conversions. His conversion game is one of the best. He gets so much percentage for doing, I wouldn't say so little, but for doing uh, much less than other characters. He doesn't have to work so hard of, and his uh, and his conversions are quite linear. You know, you know exactly what he wants, and but he he but, knows what he wants. Yeah, so, and yeah. and it's like you know what he wants, but it's like oh, really the hard reversal. to get. Ooh. Yeah, he yeah. went for the edge guard. He yeah, can't he, do it against Saigai. That's what he wants. Yeah, he was a little bit too far up for that back air to connect. Mm -hmm. And Saigai took advantage with it with the double jump there. there. Yeah, he went for it and flipped that F throw once more. And that this thunder is going to be an issue for yeah. uh, Vladin to deal with. Yeah, this PK Thunder 1 is doing a lot of damage to, to Vladin. But doesn't seem to like really phase him. He still goes back into his into his battle uh, into his battle mindset. Mm -hmm. I still love how DP is going for these edge guards. No, he's vulnerable to that, and that PK fire is going to get punished immediately. So Vladin taking back the stock just like that, and here come the conversions. Is able to tech from the platform. I, I understand why PK, uh, why Saigai went for that PK fire there. Uh -huh. um, Could have been trying to cover uh, the step back option from Vladin, or covering Vladin jumping straight at him. Mm -hmm. And that PK fire would have set Saigai up for yet uh, possibly another kill, but we can't. Well, we can't ignore the fact that Valadin has one of the better neutrals of the. Actually, I don't know if he's unranked or ranked in SoCal right now. I, I think he's unranked, but I, I definitely could be wrong. He's, he definitely deserves to be ranked. Oh yeah, if he's if he isn't. And he's able to do so much right now. He's still at the percent disadvantage, but the fact that we're seeing side guys starting to throw out these options, trying to get out. But as cool as the magnet option is, it starts getting a little linear, and especially with these up smashes, and gets punished immediately. That F, that F smash, able to take it. Such a strong move from Mario, especially when you get that. But immediately, as I say, it up smash comes out once more. Yeah, not able to uh, shield through it. He's got shield poked by the yo-yo on his feet. And he tries to go with a forward air there, but another, oh, another fire one. to connect. And he's unable to get out of it. I like this SDI coming from Vladimir when he's hitting these PK fires. He's SDI, SDI up just so he can avoid the grab. And he went for oh the... Oh, my. Even it, Saigai even read where he was trying to go, oh. but he wasn't able to connect it in the very end. Vladimir dodging a bullet there, a literal bullet. Mm -hmm. One for it already, and he's able to get away. I love these F smash he's throwing out, knowing that sometimes, especially with these characters that are so strong with Ayo, sometimes they drift a little too far into you and get hit with these punishes. These dash dances once back and forth, and that peak fire is going to get punished. Forward throw. He's going to go for the back, uh, for the back air punish here if possible. Mm -hmm, that That's stack. a dash stack. Very nice lingering hitbox on the ledge. Uh huh. He's able to get away, but that PK fire getting him out of that situation. That backer is going to hit 138. Psyguy in trouble. He's trying to find a way out, and he keeps air darting to the ledge, but that dash attack is going to keep catching it over and over again. All right, nice drag down with the forward air there. Gets him with the back throw, puts him back into disadvantage state. Psyguy trying to call out these jumps with the backer and up air, but look at this. Baladin is just waiting it all out. Mm -hmm. He's able to get out of it, and that down up smash. He's very nice. up. Great job by Vladin, able to tilt his shield up, knowing exactly what Saiga was going to do, try to shield poke it right I, through. I, I feel like in that situation, though, that was definitely a, oh god, get away from the ledge. Uh -huh. you, you know he wants that back throw. But I, I feel like he should have been oh. tilting it downwards, but that up smash is just not going to kill just yet. He's got to watch out for the fair punish, and no, he tries to get Put that him. down there. It's gonna catch it! Oh my goodness, Vladin. Yeah, he tried to get him with the dash attack punish on the ledge. He expected Saigai to, to air dodge back in, but Saigai didn't give it to him, but he was ready for the get up option with the down air there. Ooh. That was very good coverage from Vladin. Mm -hmm. And they're going right back onto Pokemon Stadium too. Really tight match coming in from them. But as we saw, we saw Saigai get a little linear with the recovery game. What I love from Vladin, it's not that it was too linear. I, now, I take it back, it wasn't too linear. Is that Vladin constantly pressured Saigai. Every single time Saigai goes off stage, Vladin's quickly following him after. And sure, on the first talk, he got reversal, but the second and third, constantly pressuring him with those back airs. 
and he was able to find, he finally found a way in and pressured him off into these really bad situations. But back on game number two, hopefully the side guy's got a different plan. I gonna go and start up this game with a very healthy percentage lead, but Vladin kind of swing a little bit on side guy here. It's going a little more aggressive. That's uh, that's kind of that momentum that you feel, especially when you win that game. And here comes the up air strings, but instantly he's able to get away. He tried to curve it back around. Side guy almost getting it, but he's, he keeps recovering low, and he's gonna constantly dodge out those uh, recoveries because he's gonna keep using it. Nice pivot grab to throw him off, but Vladin knows exactly. Every time, every single time side guy goes for these directional air dodge to recover, he's gonna be he's gonna be punished with that dash attack. Okay, so I just checked right now. Valadin is in fact not a ranked player in SoCal for right now. Ooh. And Saigai <coughs> trying to put his name on the board as well. Gets the up air kill right there. And Valadin could afford throw him once more in floods. Very nice use of the flood. Pushing out Saigai. Oh, and more. great job. Baiting out the aerial, knowing exactly what Saigai wanted. Going for that reversal. But with that punish coming in, they're going to reset back both back to neutral. All right. Valadin has some really good damage control on top of him. He was not able to take any percentage, uh, any extra credit for Saigai there on this this stock here. And I love how Valadin's going for these cross-up aerials. They're really good. They're baiting out these grabs that Saigai wants, knowing that he wants to go for that down throw into those easy fair. But oh, both of them throwing aerials at each other, and these back airs from Valadin are doing a really good job walling out Saigai. Yeah, he's... Yeah, these back airs, uh, doesn't look like Saigai is really ready for them. It's a really fast aerial, and it hits really hard. One of Mario's most rewarding aerials, honestly. And probably one of the, the most, one of the best ones out of his kit. It's such a good neutral tool. He's unable to catch him, but he catches out the roll instead. Saigai in trouble, 142, Vladin is running right over him, and here comes the direction of the air dodge, not oh, able to punish. I think he was trying to go for, oh. Oh, He's no. dead. Yeah, what he, a reversal. No, he accidentally did a directional air dodge. Yeah, so I feel like... It. Yeah, it, it looked like he, he expected himself to get hit into the stage, which which didn't happen. But it does but get the back air. Yeah, so. again, uh, Vladin has some really good damage control. He just did not take extra credit. Yeah, once again, he didn't do it. And 45, 56 already, though. Speaking of damage control, Saikai is getting in already. Punishing the fact that he does get the up special. Whoo! Side guy punishing Vladin's mistake with the game. You gotta feel bad at this point. Well, well, it does feel bad. You gotta shake it off. You gotta, you gotta remember. You got one more game left. Yeah, that's the that's the mental game. You still got it. You gotta shake it off. I know. Hey, shake it off. You yeah. got this. Mm -hmm. You got one more game. You performed so well in that second stock, but it was it was just that side guy knew exactly what he had to do and was able to punish accordingly. Using finally using that special. It was constantly thrown out, but at some point you are gonna get caught by it. And interesting, still holding on to the Mario pick here. It has been working out for him. Uh, I would like to see his Lucina against Saigai's nest, but he probably knows something about Saigai versus Lucina that we don't. And even to use that easy conversion, gonna go for that grab as well. All right, gonna land with a back air. No, no, lands with a nair, but gets hit by the PK fire instead. Small trade, but it, for it forced Saigai off the stage, so wasn't able to get a big punish of it, but Vladim is gonna be okay. Nice. No double jump, no double jump. No double jump. Oh, that's a stock already. Saigai punishing it out. I didn't even know that the double jump was taken. Yeah, as soon as the first uh, forward air hit, the ring below Mario appeared. Uh-huh. So you gotta watch out for that when you're when you're playing. Oh my god. Oh look. god, gotta watch out. Uh -huh. There look, we go. Gets the up air. Look how fast Side Guy is moving. Like that really shows how good of a player he is. And gets hit with the lingering hitbox of that PK Thunder. It also shows how confident he is in this set now. Mm -hmm. He he knows what's what Valadin wants. Yep. He Valadin is opening himself up, trying trying to get this stock as soon as possible so he could get back into this game. He was doing he was doing so well with taking the stock immediately, but Side Guy on a different level right now, feeling way more confident from game number two. He's able to really, game number one and two. But that uh, that SD might have just done everything. But we'll have to see from here. Try to get out, but great up smash to catch the jump. Psycho constantly going out for these fares. So, uh, Aladdin finally able to catch out the stock, but 90%. Mario can do stuff with a little bit of rage though. So it's not over yet. He's got a fully charged flood on deck right here. He's got to also watch out for the back though. It is smash roll, so it's very, uh, very close side blast zones. 
And watch out for that down smash. Lands Whoa. with the down air on the cross up. That was not a very ideal place to land. Yeah, but that up smash gonna catch him out once more. And this time held it down, knowing exactly that Vladimir was gonna go for that air dodge. So 17% with two stocks. Side guy looking very good. Are you gonna go with the back air there? Four throw? No! Not sure what that turn off. Oh, oh my but god! That bear catches it out, so immediately damage back. control. Damage control. That's what we were talking about. Was able to strike back immediately, and now with this momentum building forward, hopefully Vladimir will be able to take this. He's they're both at these low percentages, so easy combo conversions. And right now, Vladimir is trying to bait out an option using these up air strings to catch out Saikai. Here it comes again. Oh, once no, more. No. Okay, he's got him at 68 now. Very good string for Vladimir. It's still continuing. He, he is getting got it. Back. <laughs> He brought the whole game back. Very nice catch with the forward smash, flaming him into oblivion. Nah, he's just like, I got a better PK fire coming right for you. So Vladin taking the game. Oh, coming out from nowhere. He's just like, game two, you 